Born of fire, the Galapagos Archipelago evokes visions of an ecological Eden. They are volcanic, isolated islands, so they are unique. This primordial world is home to some of the strangest creatures on Earth, from seagoing lizards to tortoises the size of rum barrels. This is a special place where so many strange animals are living together. Penguins, mantas, sea lions, sea iguanas, all together on one place. And this strange ecosystem it has very interesting behaviors. The islands are engulfed in cold and warm ocean currents, resulting in this unique diversity of species. You get cold water organisms and warm water organisms all mixed. Corals are among the warm water species living in the islands, and what is happening to them may be a harbinger of things to come. We know now that the ocean chemistry is changing dramatically, and that's because of the industrial age and all of the carbon dioxide that has been put into the atmosphere. Corals are forecast to be impacted severely by these changes in ocean chemistry. The isolation of these islands makes them a perfect laboratory for studying climate change. The Galapagos Islands act as a natural laboratory because it's naturally exposed to high CO2 conditions that provide essentially a window into the future of what we can expect throughout the rest of the world's oceans with the doubling and tripling of atmospheric CO2. The other added benefit is that it has experienced two very strong El Nino events in the last three decades. During El Nino, the warm seawater temperatures cause coral bleaching. And coral bleaching is one of the primary concerns of what coral reefs face with climate change. So by going into the Galapagos and studying how these reefs respond to warmer temperatures under these naturally low pH conditions, we can gain a window into the future. What is in store for coral reefs? Can coral survive in more acidic oceans and cope with increased water temperatures?